All right, we're good to go. All right, do we want to start on three? Yeah. So that the true proportion is which is wrong. Should be just P. Okay, so I suppose any hundred P is point two five and P hat equals point one. The requirements for constructing a confidence interval are satisfied. True, right? Yeah. The requirements for conducting an hypothesis test are satisfied. True. Also true. Yep. Okay. Study of first degree murder trials was conducted in another state. A random sample of 60 people on that trial for first degree murder was taken. Of these, 45 of the defendants were found guilty. Find we have the point estimate of the proportion of first degree murder defendants who found guilty in this state. Seven five. Zero point seven five. What are you guys using to find the margin of error? Do you want to see? So I'm going to see if I can use the Excel sheet. I have all the information. I have to run and get my baby really fast. I'll be right back. So I used the equation from the lesson, and I ended up with 0.110. Okay. Let me know if you get something different. 0.110. That's what I got using the equation. I don't know if that's right. Margin of error in the last couple lessons also. So. Are we still on seven? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, because I don't think we have enough information to use on the Excel sheet. Yeah, I mean, we can use it to find them, but. So you got point one one zero. In the lesson it says it's, you can use. Z times the square root of P times one minus P over N. There. We don't know P. We can use the prior estimate of proportion. I mean, 
we can find it using P hat though, right? So in place of P, we use P hat. Okay. And that's where I got. Okay, so I got Elliot point one one zero. That's what I got. Okay, cool. So Okay. Input the Did lower you... bound. I use the Excel sheet for the upper and lower. X4 for the lower and 0.86 for the upper. Okay. okay, so 0 0.640. Mm -hmm. And. Zero point zero. What did you find for the lower and upper? So the lower was zero point six four zero, and the upper was zero point eight six zero. Okay, and did we agree on the point one one zero for seven? Yeah. Okay, great. I thought it. So if you increase the sample size from 60 to 80, what do you expect to happen to the width of the column? So it would decrease, decrease, right? Yeah. <coughs> to conduct a hypothesis, the proportion must be met. Suppose p equals one half. What is the smallest n can be and both requirements still be met? So. 20. Right. 0.5. 20. So, yeah. okay, so 20. To conduct a hypothesis test for one proportion, two requirements are so that suppose p equals one tenth, what is the smallest n can be? So it has to be a hundred. Right? Oh I, I yeah. Okay, so are we good on 11 and 12? Yeah. Yep. Okay, sweet. Um, okay. So for the water quality study in the reading, about 60% of macroinvertebrate water quality indicators have historically been associated with good health. The researchers suspect that water quality in the area has this test for the significance level of alpha equals 0.05 in the following hypothesis. Okay, so the conditions for conduct conducting a hypothesis test are true. So, yes. Yes, true. So P hat would be 0. 0.475. Yeah, so we're good. So through in zero point four seven five, right? Okay. And then the test soon. That Did you negative just, two. Go ahead. Did you no, just say good. Did you guys already do fifteen? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Into the Excel spreadsheet, and I got negative two point two eight two. 
Team. No, not yet. Yeah, reject. We would reject them. Mm -hmm. be, be the last conclusion. Sufficient evidence to conclude that water quality has decreased? Yep. Okay, awesome. It says we got everything right. Awesome. Okay. I'll take your project really quick since that's yeah. due this week. So, do we want to? Um, Is, does everyone have that design the study? Yeah. You can just go through it. Let me. Get I was thinking we should do an ANOVA test since there's four of us and we all live in four different places. That might be something interesting to do, collecting data. Okay. Unless we want to test, like, do something like that. I guess maybe we should decide what we want to do first and then we can figure out the test type. Yeah, so what? trying to think of some like good tests yesterday. I, I couldn't yeah. That's really creative that way, but <laughs> yeah. I think we could compare between where we live, or where the yeah, that one could be good. I mean, they had one where it was like, like which brand of paper towels is stronger between the two brands. So we you could do that. that. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know if we should do paper towels exactly. But... Okay, all I can hear is Something. paper towels, and I can hardly hear you. Here, I'll stick it in the chat. Um, so, 
have any ideas, Melissa or Haley, on research we should do? Um, not really. I've been trying to think of something, and I haven't really come up with anything. Um, Sound from coming coming in from Melissa's microphone, but I can't hear anything but like background noise. Can you guys hear anything? I see you just moved your lips, but I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> it would kind of be funny to do the 1,000 chips in every bag of Chips Ahoy. I was trying, like, thinking of something like that, because I'm like, I kind of want to eat them. I know. I know. That's what I, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, one second. Just double stuff warriors are actually double stuff. Um, okay, maybe this has been stated and I just haven't seen it. Do we know how long we have to conduct the study and gather the evidence? Every week, I think from here on out, so this week we're designing this study next week. Data. Let's just continue through the process until we're done. Okay. Um, we could do a study like um, something simple, like how long each group takes to do their group quizzes each week. Data. Huh? Well, because everybody posts their links to their recording. So you can just go on YouTube, see how long it is, and then gather that data. Are there enough groups, do you think, to create a decent amount of samples? Well, you can either, so like even if you go, if you go to YouTube and you Google search, like um, group quiz or whatever, for this class, then a ton of other ones pop up. But there's like, I mean, there's at least four groups and we could do it week by week. I mean, I'm just trying to think of something simple. I don't really know if I have the time to go out and like observe something for a few hours. Right. Yeah. I, I think the only, the hard part with that is that next week is the only week we're collecting data. Week, week, Like you're saying, we go back and look at some. Well, but so far we have what, like eight, six or eight weeks of. Eight weeks. Um, I mean, I don't know. We don't have to do it. I'm just trying to. No, that works. Because just from the first, like, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I think there's eight groups. There's eight different links posted just from yesterday's meeting already. That's just an idea. We could do an experiment of we could each pop 
Well, but then we'd eat it. Um, we could pop different kinds of popcorn, each take a different brand of popcorn and see how many unpopped kernels are left in the bag. Do that have a different brand? Um, do you know which I think there's a different brand? Do like different brands? We could go order a large beverage and see how many, how, like how much ice they give us. I don't know, I have no idea. I mean, I'm done with popcorn. Everyone wants to do that. That's not that difficult. So do we each get, like, we each buy a different brand of popcorn and we pop, like, three bags? Is that enough data or no? We'd each have to pop, like, six bags, right? Six or seven, because... Then that only, like, if we each did three, then that only be 12 bags total. Right. How many do we need? 30, right? To assume that it's only be each one. It's 30 for every sample. Three bags of popcorn. I'll yeah. do it, but. Yeah, that's a lot of popcorn. Um, I'm just trying to think of something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Um, uh, well, just so everyone knows, on the... Um, like Google or on like the Gmail chat or whatever, I posted a link for a Google Doc, like the Google Doc for all of this, so we can just type it in there. Oh, great, thanks. The popcorn idea is really good. Um, can what about I mean what if we each look at gas prices at X amount of different gas stations around us? Oh there you go. We can compare, you like, like I was the thinking about the price of a food item in stores, but then you actually have to go in. But if you're driving, then you can just pull yeah. it from the sign without having to go in anywhere. Yeah, and they even have gas prices on Google Maps. Right. So if we each just use 10 around our area, or do we each have to do 30 because we're in separate states? Yeah. Huh? We have to do at least 30. Like each one of us has to do 30? Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we could yeah, because the different states make it kind of weird, but we can't do like nationwide since those are a couple states. Um, okay, how could we make that? What if we do like, um, Katie's the only one coming up with good ideas. <laughs> you know, how there's like, you know, a piece of toast will always land butter side up or whatever. Oh, like an uh, old wives tale kind of thing? Yeah. What if we like test that? <coughs> okay. Do that. And we could even each do a different topping. Like, does it make a difference if there's peanut butter or jelly or nothing? Like, I don't know. We could each choose a different, like somebody put honey on there, somebody do butter, somebody do peanut butter, and somebody do jam. And then you just drop it 30 times. 
Does that work? Um, the biggest question so far. Oh my goodness. Um, Red fall up side down. Yeah, is the old what or is the old fable? I don't know what is it. The old myth. We're myth busting yeah. the buttered toast philosophy. We're myth busters. I don't know. I'll. We can each try and think of a way to word it and then put it on the um, Google Doc and see which one we like best. That works. <laughs> also, we we need to state what kind of bread we're each using, probably. Or maybe we just do that. Whether or not we toast it. But toast is normally toasted, so I'd say probably. Okay. Um, so if we're just like kind of filling this out, so it says, what populations are you studying? Red, is that the population? Um, oh my goodness. Okay, experimental unit, what's the smallest? We're collecting a single piece of data. So that would just be one drop of bread. Um, we should also probably decide like, doing what? standard height to drop them from. Oh yeah, that's like, true. The same height. What about like I counter guess. height? Or is okay. that not high enough? Um, no, that should be just fine. The counter height could be different yeah. for all of us. But typically, um, counters are around like, like what thirty inches or something. Wait, that's two and a half feet. Um. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta change her diaper and try and make her happy. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is categorical test of. So this would be an ANOVA test, right? If we're going to have like four different categories, it would be an ANOVA test. I guess the problem is if we're doing a categorical test, it can't be ANOVA because ANOVA is quantitative. Okay, so which one would it be though? Categorical test of one proportion. One proportion? Yeah, it would just be one proportion with everything with P hat. Because okay. I don't think any, I mean, maybe we could find a sample mean for this somewhere, but I don't know how we would know. Turn it on. So our null hypothesis is So our null hypothesis is the bread
Something else we should think about is, is question. If we're doing seven, when we're coming up with our hypothesis, okay. if we only have yeah. B hat, so, we can only test confidence. Okay, so I wrote down that our null hypothesis is that bread always lands, butter stays down, and drop. And our alternative is um, we can say either the the bread will land like equally on both sides, or it won't. I can just say that bread will not always land butter side down. Either one. We're saying always land butter side down? Yeah. I mean, that's 100%. Okay. So what if we said the bread, or the bread lands, oh my goodness. Lands butter side down, like here's my thought logic says the time flip it over, yeah. So say okay. the you know, on either side 50% of the time, you know, landing butter side down as our alternative hypothesis is greater than okay, that would prove that okay, well, that there's some merit. To that drop on either side. Okay, greater than. Okay. okay, so when the bread lands butter side down more than 50% of the time, is that our normal or our? our, our, our or if it, if it lands, my hypothesis should be 0.5, and then our alternative would be greater than 0.5. The time it's going to land butter side down, half the time it will be butter side up. Okay. Our alternative will say it's greater than proving, potentially proving. Okay. Will you get on the Google Doc and then write that just sometimes? Because I think you're going to do a better job writing it than me. Okay. Um. There. So the, I guess the biggest thing is not too far. Sign pieces. Okay. Who's going to be the making person writing the design? Okay. We all have to collect data next to me. So we can. Um, so if we want, we can. Let's see. The main writer for designing. The, Oh, is that just each of these little sections here? We have to pick one person for each of those. Yeah, for each of the ones. You're already filling up. Document. So I already started the design and study part. Do you want to be the main writer there? Yeah. So I'll just put them in there. Um. Who wants to describe the data? I can do describe the data. Okay. Um, Melissa, do you want to make inference or take action? I'll take whatever you don't want. Did you hear another baby? Where is 
There's a baby. Say hi, baby. Presentation, if anyone else wants to help me with that. I can help you with that. And I will do the part for Okay, so. Sydney, my daughter is like mesmerized by your daughter on the computer screen. Mine is being a punk right now. <laughs> Do you see a baby? There you go. Say hi to your new friends. Show me the whole pacifier. Say hi, baby. Bye, bye, baby. Okay. Um. Okay. So Haley, you're doing describe the data. Yeah. And Jeremiah is doing. Melissa, Sydney sent a link to the Google Doc right in group in the in a chat in a group chat thing through. Where we got the link this morning, um, and then you can all of this kind of work on like if you put the PowerPoint on a PowerPoint thing, whatever those right. are called. Right. Um, yeah. Like we can all just do our own little part. Yeah, or yeah, we could all just um, put our own information into the slide kind of thing and then choose on the design and stuff. That'd be perfect. Okay, cool. Are you going to be doing the whole the study in? Is there anything else that we need to figure out right now, or? I guess the thing would be, conducting anything with human subjects, or are we conducting a survey? I think the answer is notable, well, we that's right. Have anything to do with those. Um, what? So we don't have to do anything in the design the sample section, right? Say that again. For... Oh, I'd say that everybody just needs to report what, like if we're if they're doing butter or jam or peanut butter or whatever, and then what kind of bread they're using. Okay. <laughs> And then we'll each just drop it 30 times. Cool. Um, yeah, each person drops it 30 times. So I guess here's here's my question is, um, isn't that going to change the type of test we're doing? Because now we're talking different toppings, but our hypothesis wasn't butter. Yeah. All right, so then we'll all just do butter. And then? The same brand of bread 10 times, and we have 40 samples. Well, sometimes, like, you can't get the same brand of bread everywhere. 
because like I'm out in California and I have brands of bread that I've never even seen before. We can just, if you do like, we could just do like 100% whole wheat because how much can that vary, you know? Just, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me. I just feel like that's going to change what, what tests we're doing. We can do it however we want to. We just need to the hypothesis correctly and the type of test also. Okay, so. If we do a one sample Z test for a proportion, like, you then, used to do. like if each of us did 30 drops, that'd be 120 drops, and then we could get together. So that'd be our end, and then we get together and say how many of them landed better side down or whatever, and then that would be our end. So we'll do. We're still doing categorical testing on the board. We're just doing each one three drops to get 120 samples. And then like our confidence level is nine and our null hypothesis. Oh, there's so much background noise. Um our type of test is just not easy to right. Yeah, so I think the categorical test for one proportion will work pretty well. Okay. So we'll do that and then greater than to test if it's more likely or you just want to do it different than 50%. Um. Just you can fill out all the ten, and then I know you want me to do that. I can still do that if you want me to. Okay. Sorry, you're just kind of cutting out a little bit, Jeremiah. Sorry. Um, hypothesis, or do you have? Oh, so for the hypothesis stuff. I'm not really sure how to write it. So if you, so that's question seven. So if you want to write it, that would be awesome. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just do it as soon as the call is over. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll try to fill out the rest of Actually, since we're not doing a survey and it's not involving human subjects, then there really isn't a whole lot else to do. Um, yeah, so the rest of it should be blank. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so if everyone wants to just like put their name at the top, um, like where we're supposed to put the name of our group members, once you've looked over it, as soon as I've seen everyone's name in there, then we'll get them submitted. Just okay, that sounds okay. perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Looked over it. Okay, awesome. Cool. Okay, great. I'll finish up the rest of it right now and then uh, do all of them, right? Or I can email it to everyone too. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll send out an email too, just in case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll talk to you later, guys.
next week. Okay, bye.